Hello. 2019 is coming to a close. What does that mean? Well, Witcher comes out tomorrow. But anyway, yes, yeah, so 2019 is coming to a close. So here's your uh, 2019 interview video. Kind of. Just stuff. But I want to talk about it. But I'm going to try to keep it short because my videos are always long. But this one will probably be long too. But I'm going to try to keep it short. So enjoy. Item number one. I read books. Some books. Not as many as I was going to. You know, it's, it's this really stupid cycle that we all go through in the beginning of the year. When we're like, we're going to do all of this, you know? But like we know in our heart of hearts that we're not going to do all that we say we're going to do. But we still try to trick ourselves into believing that we actually are. It's kind of pathetic in a hopeful way. But anyway, yeah, so I put on my Goodreads account that I was going to read like 24 books. I read like 14. I'll probably have like 15 done by the end of the year. Also, I started Witcher like forever ago. Forever ago. I think I either started it at like the beginning of summer break, which was back in May or like right before it. And I'm on, I guess technically book five, but I'm on The Baptism of Fire, which is the third book of the main series, not counting the two short story books. Uh, that are like, I guess, before the the main series, whatever. Uh, yeah, I've been going through it really nice and slowly. Uh, but it's really good, by the way, in case you, any of y'all are wondering. I started it to get ready for the Witcher TV show. It comes out tomorrow. So hopefully that's going to be awesome. Because they've been hyping that up like crazy. Uh, with Henry Cavill doing all this stuff. Tons of trailers. Henry Cavill read one of the chapters from the uh, the first short story book, The Last Wish. That is a beautiful man, by the way. Some guys just have it all, don't they? Goodness alive. Like, if he wants to rock the beard, he can rock the beard. He's built like Zeus. He's got the voice of an angel. He's cool. He's a nerd. Crap. I mean, some people just have it all. But whatever. Yeah, so I did that. Another really good book I read in that 14 was Warbreaker. By Brandon, Brandon Sanderson. <clears throat> that's a uh, that's a solo novel, and it's free on on uh, what you call it on his website, BrandonSanderson.com. If you guys want to read that, so do that too, because that that book that's probably my favorite book of the year. That one was just good, really good. And I actually had to read some nonfiction too, because I did this crazy thing this year where I read some of the books that I was supposed to in in, in college. So I never do that, you know? I just kind of like laugh. I'll be like, oh, you need to read the book? I'm like, spark notes exist, bah. But I actually, uh, this one felt more intense, so I actually read some of the books. It was nonfiction. It was really boring. Like I read this book about a voodoo priestess, which is like, you know, voodoo is basically just a commercialized term for voodoo, but voodoo is like a legit Haitian religion. And it's like voodoo dolls, like isn't really a thing. Like it's a thing, but it's not a thing. Like they have it and they sell it because it's supposedly a thing, but they really don't use it. Like, so, I mean, I remember I told my dad about this and he's like, hmm, well, if those are real, let me hit one up so I can like get this guy to get like sabotage. It's not really like that. I mean, there is some elements of that, but it's not like, it's not really like that. Most of voodoo is, uh, pretty much all of voodoo actually is just healing and uh, building relationships with your ancestors and the spirits and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm getting out of getting out of control again. But recap, Warbreaker is good. You should watch it. I mean, you should read it. Uh, the Witcher is good. You should read it and then watch it, unless you're kind of young, because it's a little bit rated R. Yeah. But yeah, good stuff. Also, I've discovered that I have an association with The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson and Sweet Tea Making. Because I listened to the audiobook for The Rhythmatist. I think I might have actually done this that this year. So I should have thrown, yeah, whatever. I think I did that this year. Either it was this year or last year. One of two. But I listened to the audiobook. And I wasn't, I liked the book. I wasn't crazy about the book, but I liked the book. But I think I listened to it a lot of times when I was making Sweet Tea. If you ever made sweet tea before, I mean, it's it's got to, like, you boil the water and you put your sugar in your sweet tea bags and whatever you're, like, want to put your sweet tea in, you know, the pitcher, 
and then you pour the boiled water in on top of the sweet tea bags and then you like you know get the sweet tea in there and then so all that steam comes up and like the steam is mixed with sweet tea and it's this really pleasant aroma so I think I listened to the rhythmatists a lot when I made sweet tea because I make sweet tea a lot because I'm addicted to sweet tea so now whenever I make sweet tea and I feel that I smell that smell I relate it to the rhythmatists which is interesting so that was a good thing from 2019 um Another thing from 2019 is I had to take this, well, I didn't have to take it, but I took this art theory and literature class. And this was like, I actually enjoyed this class, which like, I don't know if I can put into words how monumental that is. Um, because I don't, I hate school. I'm like the person like that if you ask, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate. So I'm, I think I'm preaching to the choir here, but I'm one of those people that he's like, Oh, do you like this school? I'm like, <clears throat> well, you know, uh, I, I hate school. So whenever someone asks me that, yeah, like, I, there's not going to be a school I like. But I mean, I guess it's better than whatever, you know. And that's the same with class. I pretty much hate all my classes. The only, like, if a class is, like, it's really, is a class bearable or is it not? It's not do you like it or not. Is it, is it bearable or not? Um, and this one I actually enjoyed. Because our theory in literature is lit. <laughs> See what I did there? Arthurian lit. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's actually amazing. And uh, I just kind of wa I wanted to put this in here for all you people like me that like Greek mythology, like Percy Jackson, like all that stuff. Okay, but maybe I haven't gotten into Arthurian legend because I hadn't really gotten into it. You know, I kind of know that I know about King Arthur and Lancelot, Guinevere. And just basic like commercialized stuff because they make like 1500 bad movies about them. I never really just sat down and read a few like a lot of legends, like a lot of stories. Like I've had every like a, you know, we've all had the story here and there that I make us read in English class. But this was like a class just dedicated to Arthurian literature. We read Mallory's More to Arthur. Uh it was Thomas Mallory Mallory's this really interesting a uh, weird prisoner author from like the Middle Ages. And then we read some other stories as well. But Arthurian Lit is great because it's it's like a more classy version of a Greek mythology. I don't know if like classy is the right word, but you know, it's so much about knights and chivalry and the round table and we fight for God and all this good stuff, you know? Uh, but at the same time, then they just kind of walk into the forest, they run into a knight and they kill each other. You know, and it's be like so and so, and they fight for two hours. Then he rose his visor, fight for me. I mean, not fight for me, but and then the guy like begs for mercy. He's like, okay, well, if you want to fight for King Arthur, then I will let you live. And he's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll do that. And then they're like, okay, cool. Why do we fight for two hours? Um, and it's just bizarre, and outlandish, and uh, sad, and happy, and beautiful, and it's it's got so much interesting messages, like. Because I feel like the underlying tone of a lot of Arthurian mytho mythology or literature or whatever that you can like find is like kind of flushing out human emotion, flushing out humanity and the importance in that. Because like these, a lot of these guys are like super esteemed knights. They're basically celebrities, whatever they are, I guess, celebrities. And for instance, if you ever read Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, which you probably will at some point because it's a really famous poem if you haven't read it. It's about like Gawain who was like the most prestigious of all knights and chivalrous and blah, blah, blah. But like that whole story is like him dealing with temptation and battling and, and battling uh, fear and all these things and embracing humanity. And no one really judges him for that because even though these guys are kings or knights or whatever and they've done all these things, they're still humans. And we're uh, like, we're all humans. And we have certain like urges and love and all this stuff that gets in the way of duty or whatever. And it kind of like, well, some things just kind of are the way they are and we have to deal with them. We have to accept them for the humanity that is within us, but in the realm of something that is contradictory to it and it gets really complicated on top of all these guys just kind of killing each other in the woods and family feuds and everything going on it's, it's it's pretty dope so yeah i would say go to your local bookstore pick up an arthurian book i would 
suggest maybe more to Arthur if you wanted to. I found one for like three bucks at my uh, used bookstore. And just kind of sit down and read and get acquainted with it. It's pretty cool. I think you'd like it because I liked it a lot. And I probably got like an F in it because my teacher hasn't actually uploaded a grade yet. I probably got an F in it because I enjoyed it. And that would just be really ironic. But we'll see. Okay, so I meant for that to be more than just basically stuff I read. But I guess this is a booktuber channel, so I'll give myself a pass. But I'm going to cut it there so we don't go forever. And pretty much I just can't think of anything else. So hope you guys enjoyed. I know I haven't really been consistent with video making as ever. But thank you guys for um, sticking around. Y'all are cool. Appreciate it. And for all you people that come onto my texting videos and say, how can Percy Jackson text if he's dyslexic? Skill. That's how he does it. Okay? Yeah. Skill. Uh, so anyway, hope you guys have a holly jolly Christmas. Um, or like, you don't celebrate Christmas. Or celebrate something else. Or just don't celebrate anything. Whatever. Just have a good December. I don't care. Have a good life. Do cool stuff. Drink sweet tea as always. Read some good books, Escape from Society. All that awesomeness, you know? Watch The Witcher, if you want, and are old. Goodbye.